Hello everyone and welcome back to the podcast with me, Tom Russ. Today, delighted to be joined by British champion undefeated professional boxer, Troy Williamson. How you doing, mate? Yes, mate, all good. Good stuff. Thank you for um, jumping on the channel. Uh, mate, we're only sort of early in January still. Did you uh, manage to get much time off over the festive period? Yeah, I had a couple of days off even there, but um, I was I was always in the gym just ticking over. There's nothing strenuous, really. And have you, um, I know we were just speaking uh, before we started recording the video, um, so you're in Spain at the moment helping Kel Brook in his training camp. You managed to get any nice weather or uh, any sunbathing or is it just back to business? Yeah. The sun's, we've been here three days now, the sun's only just come out today. So hopefully by the, like, from now until the end of the week, uh, we'll get some nice weather. Well, I would um, happily swap places with you at the moment, because as you know, it's um, it's pretty bleak over at the minute. Um, but talking uh, talking about the camp, I know you're over there at the, again at the minute helping Kel, um, you know, with his um, up and coming fight, massive fight against um, Khan in in March. How's it all going? Yeah, good mate. Um, sparred again this morning, done eight rounds. Uh, he's looking sharp. Um, four weeks out, so he's only going to get sharper, and uh, it's the fight that I'm looking forward to. I was going to ask you as well, because of course, you know, um, this fight has been on the cards for, well, it seems like forever, but obviously you, you're close and, you know, as you said, sparring Kel, preparing him uh, for the fight. How focused is he um, for the fight uh, up and coming in March? Yeah, he seems dead focused. I've not spoke too much of the fight to me. I've not spoke at all about the fight. I've spoke to his team and, um, yeah, they're saying he's, he's really focused and one that he's really up for, so... Yeah, I can't wait for it. Yeah, no, it's it's, it's going to be a, an incredible night, um, and I imagine both both parties are putting all all into it because it's I suppose it's like bragging rights forever um, almost. But um, looking at looking at the fight, um, as you said, he's, he's pretty focused. You've spoken to his team. Um, I know you're there to help him spar, but how how do you see it coming uh, come March? I think Elbrook wins. Um... That's not just me being biased because I'm, I'm over here helping him. I said that five years ago when it was meant to happen. Um, I'm a big believer in time and beat speed. And I think uh, if Kel gets the measure of him early and gets that distance, then, yeah, it's game over. And if, if he goes on and wins, or um, same for Amir Khan, where, where do you see either fighter going, either fighter going after that victory? <sighs> It all depends on what, what weight, isn't it? Because obviously, I know it's at a catch weight, 149 or something out there. So, can they make well the weight? Or if not, then are they going to do super, super well the weight? So, I'm not, I don't know. I couldn't really tell you that, really. Yeah, I suppose we just need to see what happens on, on the night first. Yeah. But, um, you know, again, going back to what I was saying, you know, uh, the public, um, some people seem to be a little bit on the fence because people wanted to, you know, see it a few years ago. But as the fight gets closer, it seems like, you know, interest is just growing by the day. Yeah, definitely. Like you said, obviously, I think it sold out with... It didn't take long to sell out, did it, the show? Um, whether it's years down the line, too late or or, or whatever, uh, people will be tuning in. And obviously, it's got bums on seats. It's a fight that everybody's looking forward to. Yeah, not hundred percent. It's uh, one that can't be missed. Uh, but looking looking back over the last over the last year for you, for yourself on a, on a personal note, um, again, you know, we're only in January. So when you sort of look over the last twelve months, obviously you finished the um, year in an emphatic style, becoming the British champion. Uh, have you had much chance to reflect on the last twelve months? Yeah, so obviously it was a great year for me. I had um, a box, a box twice or three times. Twice, yeah, well, it, it, whatever. I think I don't know if it was two or three times in last year, but three great wins. And, um, obviously, I collected the British title on the way, so yeah, it was a, a massive year for me. Obviously, it was, I had to call me a breakthrough year, um, massive fight, and I showed everybody exactly what I've been telling people for a long time, but a lot of people haven't obviously had a chance to see what I'm all about because I've not had the exposure. But, um, I don't know if that off. Obviously, I've not had the exposure. And I got the I got the chance to showcase my skills on a massive platform. On that, obviously, I did that, and yeah, I'm a bit of champion now. 
Absolutely. I, I watched I watched that fight back uh, earlier on uh, this afternoon just to get it fresh in my mind. Uh, you know, the, the Cheeseman fight, of course. Absolutely incredible. You know, you two are, you know, going hell for leather. Both took some big shots in the fight. Um, I know it's the seventh round. Uh, for, you know, I don't know how much of it you remember. You know, I know you, obviously you was in there, but it was a little while ago now. How tough was the fight? I know you was confident going into it, but, it, you know, it yeah. looked tough being in there. Yeah, it was a very tough fight. Yeah. Um, I knew exactly, obviously, what Ted was all about. And obviously, I knew that he'd, he'd bring the best out of me. Uh, and I knew that he'd be there for the long run. Obviously, I knew he, I knew he was going to give me the rounds. But I just, I did, I had a lot of self-belief in myself. And I did know that if I, once I did catch him clean, that, that I would hurt him. And uh, that's what happened in the 10th. Yeah, that, that 10th round, um, you know, uh, that, that shot that sort of just stopped the fight instantly. You know, the ref jumped in, sort of game over. When you when you connected with that shot, did you know in your head that 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 was the end of it? Yeah, I knew. Obviously, the way he fell, obviously, it's not it's not 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 nice to see, but obviously that put him in the hurt, hurt business. He didn't like if he had the, the opportunity to knock me out. He'd knock me out. So, but um, it's not nice to see. Obviously, people get knocked out in that sort of style, but it is what it is. When when I seen him fall down and his leg was bent behind him, obviously, I knew that he wasn't getting up. Um, before, before you know the build up with you know with the fight as well, you know you was pretty respectful all the way up until the fight. Do you feel like um, you 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 know you overlooked you at all or? Yeah, I, I do. Yeah, that was a big mistake. And when, when and when you're in a fight like that, and you know you have taken a bit of punishment, how much time would you you know generally take off? Um, you know after you know again you know, ten, 10 rounds of um, pure action is you know. F brilliant fight one of the best fights last year did you um take much time off after the fight uh took two weeks off off the gym um uh, and just I, I think i got back running like after a week and um, but yeah i had two weeks of no, no punching and then i was straight back in the gym yeah i was gonna say mate honestly again you know absolutely brilliant fight and when you look back last year as well obviously there was a you know a few fights that come to mind that sort of stand out what one stand out in your mind for, for you know, fights last year? For me or for, for anybody? Uh, yeah, just, just just any fight. Um, put me on the spot there. But I think I think everybody's talking about my fight and I think my fight was, I think it's up there for like fight of the year contender, but um, yeah, the state there was a lot of there was a lot of good fights last year, but none that springs to my mind. If I'm completely honest. Okay, well we can we can go with your one. Um, I, look, it's Fury Wilder. Fury uh, Wilder three. That was a great fight. Yeah, no, um, incredible. Had everything, didn't it? Yeah, Usyk Joshua, and obviously like Usyk choose to a point decision, but a great fight to watch. Um, and. And yeah, Fimo oh, Lopez and Cambosis, great fight. Yeah, absolutely. Some 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 brilliant fights last year. And looking at your your story as well, I know that you know you've you've had to do it um not not the hard way, but you know, you've you've been there, you know, you've been on the small hall show selling tickets. So to to go there and do that and now be British champion, how how much does that mean to you? Just obviously just shows that hard work and dedication, obviously it all pays off. He's got to be patient and uh, don't let it. What's the word? What's the word? Like, just be patient, really. Um, like, there's some fighters out there that I believe are like nowhere near my level, but the, if the face fits, they're going to get the opportunity. Like, I've not had the opportunity since throughout my full career since since last year, and obviously once I got the opportunity, I, I grabbed it with both hands. So. You've got, to, you've got to stay patient. Obviously, the time will come. Yeah, I was going to say, how, how important is it to, to take your opportunity when you get one? Because we had um, Michael McKinson on the channel um, a couple of weeks ago, and he was talking about you know his fight coming up uh, in March against Virgil Ortiz. You know, he sort of got the opportunity, he took it. Uh, so, you know, equally for yourself, it was, you know, get that chance, take it, and, and show the world what you're all about. Yeah, well, a million percent, like... If an opportunity knocks, you've got to take it because it might not come it might not come around. Sometimes opportunities don't come around twice. So if you believe in yourself, why not take it? So so what's next for you? 
Um, boxing in late March. The date's not announced yet. Uh, hopefully gets announced within the next week or so. And I haven't got an opponent yet. Hopefully that gets announced within the next week or so too. But, um, yeah, massive year. Massive year this year, hopefully. No, of course. And in terms of a promotional um, outfit platform you'll be fighting on, what can you tell us about that? Uh, signed with Pro Bellum. Partnered with the front one. So, yeah, I'm signed with Pro Bellum. Still with MTK. So, yeah, the future is looking bright. Oh, no, perfect. Then that's where Sam, Ju- Sam Jones has just moved to. Is that right? Yeah, correct. Oh, perfect. Well, listen, mate, uh, we, we really appreciate you, you know, you jumping on the channel tonight. We wish you, you know, all the best uh, for, you know, 2022. Uh, congratulations again, British champion, and uh, obviously for being one of the best fights last year as well. Thank you very much, mate. Cheers. Uh, you're very welcome. Take care.